Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today I want to do one of the houses from the farm DLC. Uh, and I think we're going to do this one, the cabin in the woods. It is almost 300 square meters, two floors, 12 rooms, so it's pretty large. Uh, but it's kind of out in the country, and it's one of the newer houses that uh, hasn't been out for ages. So I think this is the one we're going to go with. Let's take a look and uh, kind of see what we're working with here. I should, I imagine most of the farmhouse, the farm DLC houses also have like a fairly large uh, yard. So we may be able to do something there as well. Uh, but let's see. So this is the house. Um, it's not terrible. It's a uh, pretty good size, a little run down, but doesn't look super bad. Uh, obviously a little dirty. Lawn certainly is going to have to get mowed. But, oh yeah, plenty of space in the backyard if we want to put stuff in there. As well as over here. Okay, so yeah, very large yard. Uh, going inside, I'm, I'm guessing this is a garage? Yeah, this is a garage. Okay. And then we've got some old windows that we'll probably have to replace. Uh, a lot of dirt and grime and dust. Uh, really large kitchen slash dining room area here. Uh, so that'll be nice. Then in here we've got, I guess, a pretty large... I guess this was like a living room, but this could be a bedroom as well. Uh, and this door looks like that's a bedroom. And then over here we've got, uh, looks like a fairly small bath, or actually a pretty good-sized bathroom. Oop, I'm stuck. Okay, and then this leads out into the garage again. Okay, so there's all that stuff. And then heading upstairs, we've got, like, a hallway here and three rooms. So another bathroom, pretty large bathroom, actually. We've got uh, what appears to be another bedroom here. I'm actually going to have to remove some of this stuff just so I can look around. Uh, oh, these are blocking off a different room. Interesting. So there's actually a lot more space in here than uh, we initially thought. Let's just sell one of these so we can kind of see what's over here. Okay, looks like just more space, basically. But then there is, like, a nice little balcony area. Okay. So, yeah, pretty large upstairs. Plenty of space. This is a very large house uh, with a lot of, like, nasty stuff. <laughs> Lots of uh, trash and dirt and stuff. It's going to take a while to clean this thing up. Um, is there a basement? It doesn't appear that way. I don't see a, a staircase that leads down or... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a basement at all. Okay, still though, uh, this is going to be a fun project. This is going to be a really nice large house. Uh, and we'll have to decide... It, I, I, I kind of want to just keep this original paneling. We'll probably change the windows though. Uh, but anyway, first things first, let's get the place all cleaned up and looking nice.
Well, I think I have the whole house all cleaned up. Uh, all the trash is out and all that kind of stuff. Dirt is gone, etc., etc. So now that it's all kind of gutted, we can get a better idea of just how large some of these rooms are. Uh, and yeah, some of the windows are definitely going to need some work. I think we're probably going to end up replacing all of the windows. But one thing that I noticed while I was mowing the lawn... There's actually a cave back here, which is kind of interesting. And it looks like there are the, these like cave paintings, but they're they're considered dirt, which kind of makes me a little sad that we have to get rid of these cave paintings <laughs> in order to satisfy the buyers. Because you'd think that would actually be kind of a cool selling point of the house but no they're they're registered as dirt they're considered dirt you can see as we uh wash them off you can see all of our uh, buyers getting a little happier etc but then there appears to be a prompt here to pull out a hammer what happens if we destroy all the stalagmites. Oh. Will the cave, like, open up and show us more stuff? Or is this just going to be kind of a, a essentially an extra room for us? That is the question. And can we, can we destroy any of this stuff? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, it looks like we basically just have, like, a little cave here that we can put whatever we want in. Still, that's kind of cool. Um, you, we could use this space for any number of different things. I like it. I'm a fan. Uh, so yeah, that is the house. Now it's time to pick out colors, replace all the windows, replace a lot of the floorboards and walls and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's going to take me a while, so might as well get started. Well, after a fair amount of working on stuff, I think... We're good. So I changed the color of the roof. Uh, it's now this kind of like light tan color. Uh, I also went ahead, swapped out all the windows. So all the windows match, except for this one. Oh, not, not that one. Uh, grappling hook. Except for this one. This is the one window that doesn't match all the others. Because the window that they had here, you actually can't put back. It had, uh, let's see... It had, like, this window, which fits, but it it's too low. It, like, goes below the roof. So the developers had, like, bumped it up to be, like, up here. But then when you remove it, you can't put the same window in. So I went with this one instead. Same wood tones and stuff for the most part. It's just a slightly different window. Uh, but anyway... Uh, Put in some concrete floor on this little, like, patio area. Put in some stuff there. But then once we go inside, this is where the magic happens. So, uh, went with nice hardwood floors throughout most of the house. Uh, I might change this to be carpet. I uh, haven't decided yet what I want to do with this room. I'm considering making it another bedroom. I'm also considering making it, uh, like an office. Uh, so we'll see leaning towards bedroom at the moment, in which case we'll go carpet floors in here. But uh, this will be like our living room area. This will be our kitchen uh, and dining room. And then in here, this is uh, one of our two bathrooms. This is our garage with nice concrete floors. And then I went with this kind of like metal uh, paneled wall, uh, which I think works out good for like a garage. Uh, going upstairs... Uh, we've got in here another room, uh, this will be a bedroom with, uh, a wallpaper and white carpet, uh, another bathroom, and then this is the bedroom. I don't know how I feel about this blue. I feel like it's a little bit too much, uh, so I might change this out, especially since it, I'm kind of looking at it now and it kind of clashes with these, uh, the wooden windowsill frames as well. So yeah, I might change this blue out, but I'll, I'm going to leave it for now and uh, I'll adjust it later if needed. So yeah, that's basically the house. I think I've got all the floors and walls taken care of. Subject to change, of course, if I decide that I'm not liking uh, certain aspects of it, then so be it. But uh, for now, 
I think we are ready to start putting in furniture and decorating some of these rooms. So I've got most of the corridors all finished. Uh, so this little sort of uh, foyer or whatever you'd want to call it, um, I just kept it really simple, threw a little bench down, a hanger slash coat rack, shoe rack, a couple more storage bits. Uh, and then over here, we've got like uh, just a painting and a, a small bookshelf and some plants and things like that. I think it works out nicely. Uh, hilariously, this room, House Flipper is registering it as a garage. I have no idea why, considering it doesn't even border the exterior of the house. <laughs> But it's a garage, I guess. Uh, okay, whatever, House Flipper, if you say so. Uh, but again, kept it pretty simple here. I did throw down a little uh, sofa here just to sit on. Mirror, a uh, nice big sideboard over here. Bookshelf, plants. Uh, threw down a uh, grandfather clock. Uh, so yeah, just kept it, uh, you know, nice and simple again. I think it looks nice, though, especially with this rug to kind of tie everything together. Uh, it's a pretty nice place. And then going upstairs, again, very simple. Uh, a rug, a bookshelf, a painting, a plant. And then over here, I just threw up like a, a deer skull on the wall and some other wall decorations and things like that. So that's kind of the corridors for the house, the sort of walkways. We've got our entranceway. We've got kind of our main hallway over here and then our small little upstairs hallway as well. So yeah, I think that's good. Well, I guess every room is a garage now. Uh, this is our kitchen and dining room. It's also registering as a garage for some reason. I, I, it's got to be a bug of some sort. Uh, but yeah, this is the kitchen. I think it turned out great. We've got this nice, big, giant uh, counter space wraparound bit around here with some hanging cabinets. Threw in a nice little island refrigerator. Uh, this is a really nice kitchen. I would love to... Ha I, I would kill for this kitchen uh, in my house. Uh, our kitchen in real life is way smaller than this and very annoying uh, when it comes to lack of counter space. So yeah, this is super nice. I like it a lot. And then over here, I kept it real simple. Just a big dining room table with some chairs, uh, plant in the corner, painting on the wall, and a couple of these uh, pantry wooden shelves for putting canned goods or, you know, whatever it is you need uh, over there. So yeah, that is the kitchen. Um, I think it turned out great, despite the fact that the game still thinks it's a garage, which is going to really bother me, but... It's fine. It's fine. It's a kitchen, not a garage, House Flipper. Please learn. Now, the the, th the thing that I'm concerned about is that this is going to be a garage, and this is going to be a garage, and we're just going to have, like, 14 garages uh, when this house is done. But, uh, well, only one way to find out, I guess. Well, I've went ahead and finished the garage a.k.a. the living room, which is, again, also registering as a garage. I looked it up. It's definitely a bug. Uh, in order for a room to be a garage, it needs to have a garage door. None of these rooms have a garage door. The only room that does is the actual garage. Uh, but for whatever reason, the game's like, nah, it's not a living room. It's a garage. So you know what? Whatever. It's fine. Um, we know that it's a living room, and it looks like a living room, and we're kind of at the point in the game where money doesn't really matter that much anymore so if the game's like it's a garage and the buyers are like hey i wanted living rooms then whatever we might lose money on the house but like who cares um so yeah this is the living room uh there was this fireplace that fit perfectly into the little kind of nook in the wall so i decided to put that there and then over here we've got a nice large uh like TV stand here with a really big, I think this is an 85 inch TV on it. Uh, so pretty large. We've got a nice sort of wraparound couch here, as well as another couch over here next to the fireplace. And then everything else is just kind of decoration. We got a nice big rug. Uh, we got some paintings on the walls and things like that. A couple of plants that we managed to work in. Uh, threw down some table lamps on these little side tables. Uh, I suppose one thing we could add would be just a TV remote, like right about there. Sure, that'll work. But yeah, this is the living room. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, despite the fact that it says it's a garage, it's fine. Uh, living room done. 
Okay guys, so I decided to turn this room into a bedroom. So we would have three bedrooms and two bathrooms, although it's a garage. So I guess we're gonna have like a 14 car garage and no house. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is it. So nice big double bed. Uh, bedside tables, big wardrobe over there, mirror. Uh, decided to put a TV in this room, a little uh, armchair just for sitting down and reading books or whatever, and then a couple of decorations. Uh, kept it really simple. I think it turned out great. I'm happy with it. Uh, just a nice, small, little, simple bedroom. Uh, actually, it's really not that small. This is a pretty good-sized room. Uh, but it's cozy. I like it. I think it's really nice. Uh, the other thing I went ahead and did is the actual garage. Uh, so in here, I kept it super, super simple. Just some garage shelves. Also, like, the game is very frame framey right now. Uh, it's not the... I don't know what it is, but it's super... Like, the frame rate is really bad right now. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, lots of garage shelves. Over here, I put, like, a little workstation tool area, you know, that sort of thing. A little workshop. And then in here, I just threw it on a pickup truck because I thought it would make sense uh, for this house. So yeah, there we go. Garage and downstairs bedroom all finished. So next I decided I wanted to do the two bathrooms. So here's the downstairs one. Uh, ignore that, the door would actually open up this way in real life. Uh, so here's the downstairs bathroom. Uh, turned it into a laundry room as well. So we have a washing machine and dryer in here, some laundry stuff up on the wall. Uh, just a bathtub. I figure maybe uh, maybe this how this family would have pets, and it would be nice to have a downstairs bathtub for that. Uh, toilet and sink. Very simple, uh, but you know has everything you need. You'd be able to take a bath in here, use the toilet, wash your hands, brush your teeth, you know all that kind of stuff. So there's the downstairs bathroom. Uh, going upstairs, the upstairs bathroom is considerably larger, and I like how it turned out. So again. We have another bathtub here. I think I actually used the same one. Uh, and then a shower in the corner. Over here is like our little sink mirror. You know, this is where you would brush your teeth, get ready in the morning, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we've got our toilet right here. And then here there's just some extra counter space for setting down, I don't know, the clothes you're going to be changing into after you take a shower, uh, toiletries, uh whatever, right? Whatever you need to set down, you can never have too much counter space in a ba in a, uh, a bathroom, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, I think it turned out good. It's a little plain, but uh, we got some decorations in here with, uh, you know, some paintings, blue rug, etc. It's very clean. It's very nice. I like it. Uh, so yeah, there's the bathrooms. And finally, the two upstairs bedrooms. So here's the first one. I really like this room. Uh, I think this turned out awesome. So we've got the sort of beige wallpaper and then a lot of like earth tones, lots of browns and wood and uh, different sort of tans and things. I think it, it looks super nice. So we've got a nice big double bed here in the middle, uh, two bedside tables with nightlights on them, painting hanging above the, uh, the bed. Over here, we've got a little sitting, like a little love seat, I guess you would call this a little two person couch, a love seat. Uh, with just a little side table, wooden shelf hanging on the wall. Then over here, we've got like a little corner desk for, I don't know, maybe this is like a kid's room and that's where they do their homework or or whatever, right? Uh, a bookshelf and then a dresser over here with a plant in the corner. And yeah, I really like this room. I think this is probably my favorite of the bedrooms. Uh, I like how this one turned out a lot. Uh, then finally, the largest bedroom in the house uh, kind of got split into a bedroom and a uh, living room. And this one actually registers a, as a bedroom. It's a miracle. Uh, this one's a garage, but uh, but this one's actually a bedroom. So, hey, we actually do have one legit bedroom in the house, according to the game, uh, despite the fact that there are three. But anyway, so decided to go kind of red and blue here. We have this blue wallpaper. And honestly, I still kind of might prefer to change it, but I also don't hate it. So you guys are often complaining that I don't use enough color, or at least a couple of you are. So this is me using color just for you, dear viewer. Um, but, <laughs> but anyway, so we've got our double bed here. 
with a nice Persian rug underneath. Again, bedside tables with lamps. Over here, we got a nice bookshelf. Uh, and then over here, we have more bookshelves. Then over here is kind of like our little living room area. Two armchairs with a coffee table. We got this nice round red rug here to sort of section off this portion of the room as its own little area. And then over here, we've got our dressers with a mirror above them so you could get ready in the morning or, or whatever. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. Uh, I've decided I'm not going to do anything with the balcony. And I don't think I'm going to do anything with the cave. As tempting as it is, um, I really don't know what I would do with it. And it's not really going to change anything with the house. And for all I know, the game is just going to be like, hey, look, it's a garage. <laughs> so... Yeah, so I'm not going to do anything with the yard here, but that is the whole house all done. Let's go ahead and sell this thing. I honestly have no idea how this is going to work because the game thinks like every room is a garage. So we'll see. Let's see here. Okay, so about 50000 in profit. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get that up just a smidge more. See if we can get that up to 60 You might as well. There we go. Very good. Okay, so there we go. That is the house. We should get some nice before and after pictures, despite the fact that every room is supposedly a garage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's, this is why I don't change the layout of the house, the interior, all that much for the most part. Because you do get some really nice before and after pictures if you leave it. So, not too shabby, I must say. But there we go. The cabin in the woods is all finished. I think it turned out pretty good. I am happy with it. And guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. We're out of time. No idea what house we're going to do next, but I guess we'll just find out. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.